Hello friends, this video on polymers part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. You can also think from the mode of polymerization perspective. So there are various modes of polymerization, addition polymers, condensation. So let's talk about the addition polymers. So yeah, addition polymers are actually formed by the repeated addition of monomers. And these should have double or triple bond. So this called repeated. addition of monomers with double or triple bond. So in this case there is no loss of molecule. For example polythene, I have explained this actually. From ethene, there is a double bond here, in number of ethenes will actually form polythene. If you see here, what is happening is this bond is breaking, right? and this this bond is breaking to form another bond. One bond breaks, another bond is formed. Since it has to break one bond, it should have double bond or triple bond. If there is a single bond, it will not break. Single bond is strong bond. If you break the bond, it loses its identity. This monomer should be intact, so it should have a double or triple bond. There are a lot of examples for this. And uh, if we talk about further classification, you can actually further classify this addition polymer. Before that, let's see one more reaction for addition polymers. Let's see for this tire. This is polythene, as I told. And let's see for tire, I told tire has been as. Okay? And let's see for buna as the reaction. Can this be used N butadiene? That is CH2, CH, CH. This is see with it for but and one, one two. So this is one, three. Buta at one and three position I have dyne. One thick buta dyne it will react with styrene. Yeah, we will have a lot of styrene. And with this, it forms this compound. So this bond breaks here. So it's two, it's two, so it's two. Again, this bond also breaks here. This, this bond breaks. And this bond actually forms a bond. The CH here. And the CH2 here. So this bond breaks again here. One, two, three, four, five, four plus two, six carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six carbon. One, two, three, four, five, again, six carbon. Okay, six carbon is done. And on this, let me add one uh, CH here, benzene here. Okay, and let me double bond somewhere here. So there will be double bond. Breaks. Double bond. CH2 is CH2. And obviously. So what I have done is actually I have broken this bond. And broken this bond also, this is the double bond form there. Okay, and then this again uh, is polymerized to form this. Now, if you see this name is it is derived from butadiene and styrene, so it is called bunas. Why it is called bunas? B U word came from butadiene, 
S word came from stearin and Na is sodium because sodium is used as catalyst here. Now if you see these two reactions, in this reaction I have only one kind of monomer. In this kind of reaction I have two kind of monomer. Thus the addition polymer polymerization reaction can also be classified into two type. One is homopolymers where the polymers are same and copolymers. Okay, so homopolymers or homopolymerization actually is nothing but the polymerization of the single monomers to form a polymer. Example in this case polypolymer. We talk about the copolymers. These are nothing but the polymers made by addition of polymerization of two different monomers. So this is the example of copolymer given as. And homopolymer example is polymer. So homopolymer is polymer, which is made by addition of or polymerization of single monomer. Copolymer is again polymer that is formed by addition polymerization of two different monomers. Right? Both are addition polymerization. Both are addition polymers also. You see because both these are formed by addition reaction. So these addition polymers are further classified as homopolymers or copolymers. Okay. So see from the source perspective I told natural or synthetic, structure perspective I told branched, chain, this kind of uh, classification. From the mode of polymerization I am telling we have addition polymers and we have condensation polymers. Addition polymers are the one are the polymers which are formed by the addition reaction of the monomers. Now monomers can be of only one type of type. So we can further classify the addition polymers as homopolymers, which are nothing but polymers derived from the addition reaction, where the monomer is of only one type, that is homopolymer, or the copolymer, this is also a polymer derived out of addition polymerization reaction, but here the polymers were different. The example is Munis. Okay, so these two are classification of addition polymers. Okay. If you want to give the polymerization reaction name, then you can say that this is addition polymerization, this is homopolymerization. And this is copolymerization. That is the mode of polymerization. The next kind of polymers based on the mode of polymerization I told is the condensation polymer. So these condensation polymers are produced by the repeated condensation between two different bifunctional or trifunctional monopolymers. Please know. Formed by. So this is not formed by addition reaction. Formed by condensation reaction between two different y function or by monomers because again monomers cause polymers. And in this kind of condensation polymerization reaction, there is elimination of some molecule. Example water, alcohol, hydrogen chloride, something like that. For example, let's take this example. This is hexa, this is 6, hexa methylene diamine that reacts with adipic acid, adipic acid is CH2, 4, COH here, and CH. So when it reacts with adipic acid, it forms nylon 6, 6 and water. So one hydrogen reacts with this, sorry, this hydrogen will react with that with this. 
and this hydrogen with the ions. So it will fall, check out the one water molecule and this will give one water molecule. So with that, what you get is NH and then on this. And this is nylon 6, 6. Why 6, 6? This is 6 carbon here, this is 6 carbon here. So if you see here, water molecule is out. Plus, if you see, they are these are bifunctional. Okay. A good example is nylon 66 that is used to make fabric, t-shirts. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.